and we are going to use the nookie data for the first time so we're gonna put this all in here I think this can hold 12 mats 12 of these I'm not sure I know it can hold two each section and I can't let's see how many sections there are guys and gals and welcome back to gold rush i'm buddy 1927 and today we're here at the blacksmith shop in our last episode we drilled we used the drilling machine and drilled out our parcel to find out where the gold deposits are while we were drilling we collected gold nuggets a total of 753.6 uh, 262 ounces of gold. So, that's a lot of gold that we collected. So, off camera, I went ahead, came to the blacksmith shop, and smelted all that gold. We lost s about 75 ounces of gold, because it was 2 ounces a bar that we were losing. We roughly made about 37 bars. I had to sell 4 bars of gold to be able to smelt everything because it was costing us um, <laughs> 1,985 ounces uh, $1,985 to smelt all the bars so here in the back of the pickup we have all these gold bars look at all that gold minus four there's roughly about 30 uh, no, yeah, about 33, out, 33 bars. So we are going to hop into the pickup truck. Start the engine. Let's turn on the lights because even though it's 4.30 in the afternoon, it's dark and overcast. And we're going to drive to the bank. And I do want to show you something, and I am going to sell all this gold for right now because we're going to make some big decisions here. And let's just get here. Turn off the lights because we're going to be here. Turn off the engine. We'll hop out. Come over here to the bank. Okay, we don't. This is the parcel that we actually own okay we have no loans outstanding and we're not going to take any loan now you might see that gold stock has actually gone down it's because I sold when once you start selling gold the more gold you sell the lower the gold cost will end up but then once you kind of wait for a while the gold prices will go back up Okay, and we got all this gold to sell. We got a lot of 18 ounce bars and we got 11.94 ounce bar. So let's just take this one and we'll start selling. We're gonna sell all our gold. You can see the numbers are going up. And the reason why we're selling all this gold is because we need a lot of money. I know that's going to drive the gold prices down. But for right now, I need the money. So we're just going to sell all this gold. You can see how much... Yeah, so you got to click hunt each one this is a pain on the bet but they should have a selection say sell all gold because we got a lot of bars so uh, I'm just gonna skip forward until we get everything sold so I'll be right back all our gold we have a total of 
$751,859. So that's not too bad. Let's see what gold prices are now. They're... Went down still. Good parcel. Now, we got a couple options we can do here. Uh, to buy this, we can buy this for six. We can buy old on a parcel for $600,000. If we do that, we don't have to pay any royalties, we don't have to pay any lease money. Every, gold, every ounce of gold that we collect off that parcel, we own now. We won't pay, we won't lose any money in lease. We won't lose any gold in, um, yeah, I just said, I just said it two seconds ago. My mind then went complete. It, we don't have to play, pay any gold to um, the person who owns it because we own it now. Okay. That's option one. Option two is it's going to take roughly a little over six hundred thousand dollars to set up the gold uh, to set up the wash plant. So we can buy a wash plant, set it up, buy a dump truck, buy a excavator, and start processing the plant. But we will still own owe any royalties. That's what I was looking for. Royalties, which is a percentage of the gold that we collect, we we still have to pay the lease on the parcel. We still have to pay the royalties that we own. Okay, now we do have to, whether we own it or not, we still have to upgrade it to allow certain equipment. So what I'm going, so that's option B. Option, option. Two. So option three would just will just keep the gold that we have, do nothing, just, but set up the gold room, and then we can just work off the hog pain until that's completely done, and then see how much money we have and how much gold we collected off that hog pan, and then go from there and decide what we do, but we still owe royalties and we also owe the lease payments. So we got a couple different options that we want to do. So my option, uh, again, option one is to buy the parcel. Option two is go ahead and set up a wash plant and pay the royalties and pay the lease. And option three is just set up the gold room, that's it, and then work on the hog pan until it's completely empty, and then go from there, but we still have to pay royalties, and we still have to pay lease. So, those are the three options. I'm thinking long term. So, if I buy it, I can, as we get the gold, I can go ahead and set up the wash plant piece by piece, and maybe we get lucky and Buy some buy some pieces when when they're on sale. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the lease. I'm just going to come down here, confirm at six hundred thousand dollars. That gives us one hundred and fifty one thousand eight hundred and fifty nine dollars less left. Okay, we own it now. Okay, upgrade. It's we still have to upgrade the vehicle. We only allowed one machine on there. You have to pay. And that's done by the town. So you have to pay extra anytime you upgrade. Go ahead and start the engine. And let's go ahead and go to the mining shop. The. What I can do. Turn that off. We'll hop that here. We're gonna need some. We're gonna go ahead and buy the equipment for the gold tent or the gold recovery. So I need to buy the big trailer here. So I'm gonna buy one of those. Now we can buy the nugget nuggeator nugget. This machine 
You can see the <laughs> up top there. Nokuator. I can't even talk today. We can buy that and that will wash out a uh, hog pan mats. I'm going to hold off on that for a second. We can buy um, the Magtech Separator, which get, which is $2,713. I'm going to go ahead and buy one of those. Okay, we can buy a wave table. I'm going to buy one of those. That's for $4,341. And the reason why I'm buying these two is this will help separate the Magtite, and this will actually help get the finer gold instead of panning. So this will this is our panning and we'll get the finer gold and all that. Now what we will need for these two is we're gonna need one of these flat hose. We're gonna need two of these. And we'll come down here. No. Come on. Okay, we're going to need the water splitter. We're going to need one of these. Okay, we're going to need one high voltage cable. We're going to need two low voltage cables or extension cords. We're going to need the generator. We need one of those. I am going to need two buckets. And we are going to need the power splitter. And... I'm looking at these. Huh. Okay, what I'm going to do is go ahead and cash out and see how much money we have left over. Place the order. Let's just go ahead and hop in the truck. And get the trailer. Trail up here, hop back in, turn the wheels, release, release the brake, and we'll pull back in here so we can load everything up on the truck. Turn off the engine because we're going to be here a while. Let's just go ahead and we'll load the generator up here. Turn it this way and crouch down. Okay. Next, we're going to get water splitter. And we're going to put that right there. Next, we're going to get the electrical split, split the power cord splitter. We're going to put that right there. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking too much. Okay, let's grab the fat hose. Rotate that. We'll crouch down. Let's bring it here a little bit. Okay, we'll get two garden hoses. There we go, that's what I was looking for. One. And. Okay. 
Okay. Go ahead and close that up. Pick up the wave table. Yes, pick up the wave table. And we'll add that. Put that right in there. Okay, that's in there. Let's see. Pick up the high voltage cable. That there. A couple of these low voltage. Yeah, it should be two of those. Okay, we'll pick up the magnetite separator. And I'm just going to turn it like this. And we're going to put it right there. And I'm going to put two buckets. One and two. Okay. I'm going to leave the truck here for a second. I'm just going to go ahead and run over to here because I got two options I can do. I can go ahead and just work on the hog pan, set up the gold room for what we got, and get the nuggetator and the and get a bunch of um, hog pan mats. Or I can go ahead and buy an excavator. Excavator. Oh, wait a minute. Is that on sale? No, that's a regular price. $69,469. That's 17000 What I could do... Buy that... 69 plus 17 does about 90,000. How much is the mobile wash plant? Mobile wash plant is. 59, so it's about 101. I'm gonna need that. Definitely. And I'm gonna need that too. Hey, okay, what we're going to do. I just made a big decision. I'm going crazy. I'm gonna lose my shirt. I don't care. I'm going to come over here. Tell you what. That one, this one has a longer reach and a bigger bucket. That one has a smaller bucket. That's 16,000 compared to 69,000. Tell you what, let's just go ahead and buy this one. And we... I'm not going to rent it. We are going to actually buy it. We're going to add it there. And I'm also going to add this. Because we're going to need a lot of fuel. And I don't feel like running to town filling up the mobile fuel tank. Come over to here. Okay, so that's $33,648. Place our order. Come over to here. Um, small excavator and big fuel tank. Okay. Small excavator. 
and it's going to cost us 3500 to transfer all transfer those two items now I'm just going to come over to here I'm going to come to the workshop and I'm actually just going to paint the excavated this right, let's see what basic is Got the different flags. Let's go back to the workshop and just do that one. Paint. Confirm. So now that's painted. So it's not going to look that ugly color. It only costs us a buck. So we'll run back over here to the store. We still have $104,000. Actually pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to buy this, which is 8,000. Buy one of those. I'm going to buy this, which also has a pump on it. We'll buy one of those. Now, this has the mobile water tank, it, ha it holds water. And it has a pump, so what we can do is pump the water from there to there, and, and when, when and if the stream ever freezes over or if there's no more, no more stuff. Um, yeah, we, we already filled that up, so I need to come back in here. But we're going to need that hose. I need one of those. We're going to need one of those. Need one of these. I'm going to need another generator. I need one of these. I think, yeah. You buy that? No, you can't buy that. Okay, we don't need any of that. Oh uh, yeah, I am going to buy some chains. Let's go with eight of these. Fifteen dollars a piece. So in case I break any, I have some spares. And let's just go ahead and buy that for right now. Load it back up onto here. Let's take our big hose, our fat, flat, heavy hose. We're gonna put that there. That's that's good. We're gonna take this hose, connect it to there. Oh, I do need. Oh, I did get one. Okay. How about the generator? I should have put that on before I did anything else. Okay, yeah, that works. Uh, let's buy let's see, electrical. Oh, that's not going to work. That work. Garden hose. Got these chains. Might have to come back and get those. It's not going to work. Throw these chains on here. Nah, it's gonna fall off. Okay.
Got a lot. We gotta find a lot of space to put all this stuff in. There we go. Okay, we definitely got a truck and trailer load of stuff here. And we still need to buy... Two more items. But they're both on trailers and there's only two trailer slots. So we gotta come back and get these and set those up. So what I'm gonna do... Is... Go ahead and drive back to the parcel. And then we'll unload that. So I'll see you back at the parcel. Okay, guys and gals. I'm going to end the video right here. And do it in a part two, which would be in episode four. So what I like to do is thank everybody for watching. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and bell. That way you know when the latest videos I do come along. And do me a favor, check out my new YouTube channel. It's called Buddy1927 Live, which is right now in limbo until I take care of my medical problem. But then I will be broadcasting all my live streams on that channel. So check it out and go ahead and get subscribed. Also, do me a favor, hit that like button. Every like I get gets this video seen a little bit more, which helps grow this channel. And I would really appreciate that and as always have fun playing your games be safe out there in the world and i'll see you the next one bye bye